Following on from the previous video where we made a schematic design, we are now going to translate this to PCB and actually have your circuit board created. Taking your schematic diagram and translating it to PCB is very easy. As when we made the project, we already have a PCB file. We can simply go to Tools and Schematic PCB Check. So once you do that, you will get a report this in the status and a dialogue, dialogue that says differences found forward design changes to PCB. If I just click yes, okay, and you get a status report again and all of your components will be inserted into the PCB. These are just randomly assorted just outside of your PCB which is highlighted in a green box. So a good practice is to route them yourself so you can position every component as you would like and then route the tracks using the tools on the left hand side. So add track, you can simply click and add. Add track, you can add a track, or you double click on the net and then you start drawing to connect your components together. But it is actually much easier within the Design Spark software to use the integrated tools. So it, under tools, there are several options such as auto place components, where the components can be placed within your board. So if you click that, you're presented with this dialogue where you can set some measurements. So I'm going to say, I would like a three millimeter gap between components, just to space things out a bit. So if I press OK, it has now placed the components with spacing between them. And you can actually click and drag the green lines to rearrange the board size as required. So not only can the, the software arrange your components, it can also route the tracks for you. There is a shortcut on the left hand side which states root all, tra all nets, which when you click, you can add things like mitre track, curved mitres or any angle. I'm going to select curved mitres, apply settings and click root. And there you, there you have it. You have your tracks rooted between components. The blue tracks signify that that is on the bottom layer. So you would add a via and then the track goes to the bottom layer. Again, you can route them yourselves, but this is a quick, easy way of producing a PCB. And then you can still edit them once they've been routed.